Okay, so this is the Venture Flex Gym vibe. Can you just go the next one? You know, it's a little different now as I get older. I have so many injuries, but I still keep going. When I was young, I don't think anybody trained any harder than me. I mean, all those videos you see of Ronnie, there was been myself and another guy that worked out with him. You know, we didn't get in the videos, but we still did all that. Now, we didn't do as much as Ronnie. Pound for pound, I think I was pretty 
comparable to what he did. You know, when you train that hard over so many years, everybody has different weak points, I guess you could say. You know, like my shoulders were probably mine. You can see, oh. I actually have a, a, a titanium shoulder now. And like, if I don't want to work out hard, yeah, I have no pain. I'm back over 500 again, you know, trying to get over 600 again. I want to ask you that you can't stop, but why you keep challenging and you're pushing your board? It's just the way I'm made, man, you know? I mean, and even Ronnie, I mean, you look at him now, right? He, he has a very hard time to walk. He has a, it's, it, it goes around here and here, and it's kind of like, it's not like regular crutches, but he uses those and he gets around in here fine. You know, unfortunately, as we get older, even though we try hard, we're, we're not going to be what we were, you know, I mean, your waist gets bigger. That's the worst thing to me. I mean, I used to have such a little waist. And now I got like a 38 inch waist. I'm like, man, how did that happen? You know, but I mean, I got abs still, but it's not like it was, you know, but, but I think once you have that mentality, it's very hard to go back to being normal. You know, you don't have to lift this heavy. I mean, you look at the guys nowadays, there's very few that lift that heavy and they still look amazing. You know, like Phil Heath, for instance. He didn't do stuff like Ronnie did or Branch did. Now, even a lot of these guys, it's even more softer. Softer. Maybe <laughs> soft core. I don't know. But that's also the one thing in bodybuilding. There's no one perfect way. I mean, you look at the way Arnold trained. Very high volume. Very frequent, if it's true, what he said. I mean, like when I read his book, he said he deadlifted three times a week, which not sure, Arnold, if he really did that. <laughs> Because if you deadlift like I do, yeah. you're going to need a week to recover. <laughs> I met Ronnie through another police officer that worked out here. And he just kept telling me about this guy that was a rookie. And he's like, you got to see this kid. He's amazing. He's got veins everywhere. He's huge. And I'm like, bring him down here. So Ronnie came down. And as soon as I saw him, I'm just like, <laughs> OK. You could see the veins in his legs through the sweatpants. And that vein right there, you could see through the sweatshirt. I, I mean, I've never seen that on anybody. When Ronnie would try to like bulk up, I go, man, eat whatever you want. Pizza, cheeseburgers, I don't care. He would just get bigger. He, he didn't really get fat. You know, when I think about how hard this is, 